started streaming here a long time ago. And I decided to come back. But, um, I did all the questing on on the dark pieces. And now, I'm going to quest on Baldwin and I'm going to focus on the main quest. But it was weird because I did not So much has changed since I took a break from Elder Scrolls and came back. And I didn't even take long enough where a lot of things changed. Something I forgot to do. Maybe that achievement doesn't exist anymore. I remember the very first time, it was a long time ago too, that I received an achievement for all the quests on Kunarni. I'm, I'm gonna look online and make sure. But that's a DLC I'm not going to keep searching for the The Fighters Guild and the Mage Guild, their quests tie in with the main quest line. So, all of that is going to come together. And once I'm done with that, then I'll move on to, well, when I'm done with the main, well, see, it's, it's hard. It's so many different zones. So, I don't know what, but that's what I'm doing right now. But... I do know when Somerset goes live, when it goes live in um, June, I would definitely be doing that. And the beauty of Elder Scrolls Online is that each zone contains its own storyline. So I can always go back or go to Morrowind. It depends on how long it takes me to do things. I like to take my time, as I said before. And. <clears throat> explore the world because what's the point of playing this game if you don't take your time to play it and actually enjoy it. I'm not, you know, and I've said this before too, I'm not one of those people who just likes to zip through to end game. I like everything. And I like the fact that Elder Scrolls is created that way. Elder Scrolls Online is. You can take your own time and you don't feel pressured to get to end game before the entire game is reset because of a new expansion. I love that. I get an A plus for that. Because there are other um, MMOs where when a new expansion comes, sometimes the entire world changes and the dialogue of the characters, even at the beginning of at the starter zones change depending on the expansion which is, it, it's good but for people who like to pace themselves like me I mean I can go along with it obviously I've been playing another MMO where I go along with it but mm, yeah I hear familiar footfalls have closer vestige Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened, 
This place had the right smell about it. When you first appeared to me in cold heart. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson? Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. <laughs> the Moth yes, Priests so, so took pity times, upon me like, and brought me into their home. Already. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. Vestige, the scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hope to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witness their fate. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Farn, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard, the Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, king of worlds, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost and many Marco convinced Varen by tradition only the Dragonborn. Manamark, disaster. There it is. The dragon fire brazier. Animarco, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. 
It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky's opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Molag Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh! Forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Menemarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Tain Realm. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nan. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. Manamako tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nan was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nan from their hosts. Varan was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interest and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anger pierced the tall veil that seemed to draw down into the depths of Cold Harbor. His terrible engines of destruction were appearing all throughout Tamriel. and domination is successful. He will merge our world and his own in a terrible plain belt. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? As you say,
And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Minamako's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose... Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. time around when I did do the main quest I noticed that the fighters guild and the mage guild their quest lines about the anchors I noticed that you couldn't do those anymore so I want to make sure I do those as well as the main storyline this time around Now, seat me by the sea outside vocal car. Hurry. I remember also when ESO first started that there used to be a break between two quests. Like, you would start the first one, and then I guess when you got to the level, I can't remember, it was a while ago. And when you got to a certain level, then the second up, but I think maybe a lot of people were not completing the main storyline, so they made it where now it's like back to back. But because it's back to back, it's easy to skip the other quest lines too. So I just want to make sure. I don't do that this time, so I think I did join the main. My speed is acting all funny or what? Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? The Fighters Guild. You should consider joining up. We have a new guildmaster and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? Right. 
Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. Guildmaster Jofnir passed away recently, very suddenly. I always thought he'd die with a blade in his hand. But he passed away in his sleep, called to sovereign guard by his ancestors. We all miss him, but Colors has proven to be a very able leader. No, we only draw blades in service to the guild. We're technically neutral in the war between the three alliances. We love the Eagle Banner and Her Majesty, of course. But every race, every creed belongs under the Guild Hall's roof. Ha! There's a good question. We train our members in special techniques. And the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. You're in luck, comrade. Sees all colors herself is here today. Why don't you go introduce yourself? Hiding all fine so I can see. Because you're tied to the guild with your account. So, that makes sense. My PlayStation, I started playing ESO on my PlayStation, so I'm wondering if I joined this guild when I was playing a lot back on my PlayStation 4, and yeah, I'm just, I do want to become more interactive. That just happened to catch my eye. I don't usually... Pay attention to the chat, and I actually usually have it where I can't see it, because it's usually just a bunch of trolls and stuff in there, but that kind of caught my eye, so I'm going to look, because I think the primary guild residence was his home, I can't remember, it's taking a while to load. Oh, it is. Ah! 
Now I know I can come here and start. And then a lot of people have been playing, and I've been meaning, honestly, to. Oh, I remember this home that was before. I don't even think this residence is even for sale anymore. I just want to check it out. Right now I have only a costume, so. You know the homes have the color station in there? You have to have a subscription to use the color station, so I guess I'll just go to it. But yeah, I just wanted to look at that, because they caught my eye in the chat. But now that I've joined the Fighters Guild, I'll start doing the first quest for the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild before I go back and go on the second quest for the main storyline. I exited all the way out here. All the way out here. I actually have to see how much gold I do have. I know I don't have much. But that's why I have to do some writs and stuff. So I can earn more. Especially now that they have the whole armor thing now. Where it kind of makes, and I've said this before, motifs account wide. Because if you learn it now on other characters, you can actually just buy that armor type instead of actually having the motifs. I prefer to have the motifs so I still buy them from guild vendors but like some of the harder ones well see and even if that goes for some of the harder ones to find you still can't buy it until you learn it so one of your characters half has to learn it but that also makes it cheaper so you don't have to buy all the motifs on every account so do you know how long I've been looking for you? I also want to do with some PvP. But when I do PP PvP, I actually like to join longer campaigns. The shortest is um, seven days. So I don't think I've joined any of the longer.
guess I didn't join the Matrix. Ah, uh, yes, that's I just did. in line. Well met, Adept. I believe I may have a task for you. Oh, I did. Okay. New members of the lifeblood of the Mages Guild, especially for retrieval missions. I've received word about a possible store of ancient knowledge in a ruin nearby. I'd like you to retrieve it for me. To the north of the city lies the ruin known as Ondal. If you please, investigate the ruin and bring back any interesting books you can find. The ruins of Ondal are a dark and dangerous place. Tread carefully, Adept. We have ears everywhere, Adept. An intelligence report fell into my hands that mentioned these tomes. We are neutral in the war for Cyrodiil, and proud of it. That doesn't mean we don't take an interest when the eyes of the Queen notice something. The intelligence arm of the Old Mary Dominion. Personally loyal to Her Majesty Queen Irene. My understanding is that many of their members used to adventure with Her Highness during her wild days. I am the master of Incanabula, the keeper of tomes. I've come here to inspect the local Arcaneum, the Guild's library. I've dedicated my life to expanding our Guild's knowledge. Standards must be kept. I don't know. It's always a delicious mystery cracking open a book for the first time. They could be anything from ancient recipes for stew to high arcana, even racy journals penned by elven poets. By seed and spring, you will pay for your actions. Okay, hold on. Just here. I'm not going. I still have two certifications left. I have to do alchemy and enchanting. So I'm going to wait a little. Wow, especially for enchanting. Stars above, more interruptions? Is this important? I'm monitoring a very delicate experiment right now. Yes, I am. I'm sorry, have we met before? Your face is unfamiliar to me. <laughs> She's given up, hasn't she? I knew that little mouse couldn't keep up with me. I already know where I'm going to spend her coin. I'm going to buy this fantastic gown from the Aegis. Dead. Hmm. Well, that's too bad for her. She just lost. Wait, you spoke to her before she died? Or after? I guess I'll just console myself with her gold and the taste of victory. <clears throat> Betty, I recognize that you've lost. I release you from our contract. Oh my god. You're going to use my coin to buy a gown? <laughs> Wait until you get to Aetherius, Engril. You'll have me to deal with again. You're just jealous of how good I'm going to look. Oh my god, it's so horrible. Okay. Yeah, I, um, did the one I'm dealt because I was doing the, the quote-unquote Somerset quest you get when you pre-order Somerset. I mean, it was just a little... It wasn't... I mean, it was a good quest, but... I would have rather have done it once Somerset was active. How long I've been looking for you. So, as I'm out questing and walking around the world, so it's, it's 
better that way. Where I can see things from afar. Which is why I don't really care to ride my mounts as much. Because I'm likely to miss things. So I'd rather run in first person. And I'll see things as I go along. You're here to work That one, but I want to be able to. I'll sell this one and since this one reduces the cost by a bit. So this won't sell at all anyway. I'm gonna sell them. Just to get them out of my inventory. The max my health will go down. These two are part of a set. You're here to work metal, yeah? Check my oh, wares hey, before you get your hands oh, dirty. Anyway. You'll find something worth buying. I guarantee it. Oh, I did. Well, I'm gonna look at my clothing. You're here to work metal? We put hammer...
that's what's annoying. She's gonna keep searching for me until I, I accept the quest, and I'm not gonna do it right now. Because I hate having to meet DLCs active all at once, because especially if I begin to, to accept to meet quest, then I have to abandon the quest, and then she'll go searching for me again anyway. I didn't accept. Oh yeah, I gotta go back to Fighters Guild to accept that quest. Like I said, there's so much stuff to do here. So much. So I'm going back in here to accept the Fighters Guild quest. Because like I said, the Fighters Guild, the Fighters Guild, their quests are tied in with the main. Comrade, we have need of you. Will you fight by our side? The Guild has accepted an unusual contract. We've agreed to eradicate Daedric anchors when they drop from the sky. Wherever they appear, Molag Bal's minions soon follow. I am on Xbox. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just streaming from my Xbox right now. As we speak, two of my guardians investigate rumored anchor sites. Merrick and Aleph are the best the guild has to offer. Meet up with them on the beach east of Volkilgard. You can proceed from there. I know you'll change the river's course, comrade. They're investigating the coastline down the beach from the guard lighthouse. A powerful benefactor. She hates that monsters can ruin the lives of everyday folk. Our benefactor has put gold behind her principles, and so we put our strength behind her cause. They are the tendrils of Cold Harbor, reaching into Nern. The minions of Molag Bal erect dark shrines in his honor, landing sites for these horrors. The coin this contract brings is good, and in this time of trouble, we need a focus. Yes, I am new to my role as Guildmaster. The death of my mentor, Yafnir Iceblade, has been hard on the guild. He was well liked among the rank and file. I hope the river has carried his soul where it wanted to go. All right, so I'll do the fighters fighters guild quest first, then I'll do the mages guild quest, and I don't know when I'll do the second quest for the main. Do you know how long I've been looking for you?
Minions are strong, but not strong enough. Oh, sorry about that. I walked away. Um, well, I've gotten into the habit. We're now starting today. I will be playing, honestly, right now, as far as the near future, every day until I put up a schedule, which would still be three to four times a week. But as of right now, I'll be playing every day. On the weekdays, I'll stream during the evening times around the 7 o'clock hour. And I'll definitely make sure to put up a schedule. And on the weekends, I tend to stream a little bit more earlier or sometimes multiple days. But I don't have it anything definite right now, but it's definitely going to be every day until, like I said, I divide it up into probably three or four times during a week. Yeah, so now that I think about it, because I was actually thinking about um, how often I want to play. And, yeah, it's going to be 7 o'clock on the weekdays, every day until I um, say otherwise. But then, like I said, when I do eventually cut back, it will be only to about four days out of the week, because I love to play, even if I'm not streaming. So I would rather just... Is that break?
comes close to Eric. I think you pronounce her name Aelith? I could be wrong. I can't remember. <laughs> Thanks, Stendar. You're with the Guild? If the Divines will it. The Worms caught us off guard, but we made them pay in blood. Did Colors brief you on our contract? What we seek? As you say, there won't be an anchor here anytime soon, thanks to the two of us. I should be moving. We had word of another cell north of here near Skywatch. Oh, you're getting back into playing? Like, have you been not playing for a while? Because I started playing back actually when it started. I actually was in the beta, and then I stopped for a while, but when they announced... I took a break for a few months, and when they announced Somerset, I decided I would start playing again because I got super excited about that one. So I'm just now getting back to playing, too, honestly. Here, if you please. Aleph, hey, stay with our new friend. You two search these bodies. See if you can find anything of note. A pleasure meeting you, oh my comrade. Watch after the new recruit, Aleph. Colors would hate it if we lost another one. Yes, yes, Aleph will wash the new blood. Hmm. Where is the loot? or PlayStation. That vision. A Dramora okay, woman cool. talking about Merrick. Why would she want my hapless companion? Yeah, you can add me and we can play together. I don't play with Tamimi because no I haven't idea. met Tamimi that she is, consistently she is no friend play, to the but I'll or definitely Merrick. be playing like, a lot. Because, as I said, I'm excited about Somerset, so I want to... It would seem so. I want my this character one cannot too, imagine so. the value of such a thing. Too shiny and dripping with pride. I have higher level Just characters say, on they must my walk. PlayStation, but... And I don't know, I like Aleph the will go out better the on Xbox, so Return I to, to seize all colors. Tell her what you have Xbox. seen. Go. Um, no, it's not. Um... Return to Vocal Guard quick as you can, comrade. Seize all colors must know. I'm trying to think, is your use is your gamer tag your username that I'm seeing on the screen right now? I'll add you. Because it, I actually just changed my username right before I went live with the stream. So I can I can add you really fast. I just sent you a friend request.
Oh, no problem. Thanks. I mean, it's nice to have people I can play with on um, ESO. Because like I said, I don't have too many people I can play with or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna turn in this quest, and then, where is the mage's cube? Where is that cave I can't remember. Okay, it's all the way up there. So yeah, I'll just turn in this quest first. What level are you? I guess it doesn't really matter too much now with the way they scale their quest anyways. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, I play with um, another tune as well, but um, she's a little bit higher leveled. Oh, okay. But she's not that much higher. I think she's like, I have to look again. It's been a little bit since I played with her. It's only a, like two levels. stop streaming with this um, tune and I'm going to hop on my other one and we can probably just create like a party or something. son is also playing, my kid is playing Roblox too, which is eating up a lot of my internet work. Okay, I did a fighter's guild quest. I'm getting like so like I call this tracks. Shalador's legacy. Back so soon, comrade? A vision of a Dramora. This clouds the waters. The forces of Molag Baal must know more than we realized. What did she say? Nor do I, comrade. Interesting. Did she say anything else? Merrick. This dries my scales. Recruit, you must get to them. Aleph and Merrick are competent, but they find them near Skywatch. I will rally our forces here and investigate this Vivicus, whatever it is. Okay, everyone, I'm going to end this stream right here. I will be back online streaming tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. on the weekdays. That's the hour of the day that's best for me to stream. 
Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.